Yo guys, how's it going? Hope you're all well and welcome to a very long overdue episode. It's been such a long time since I've put Star Citizen content out there. I've missed it and I've really missed you guys as well in the comments. Um, I just want to say thank you though to everyone who still comments on the, on all the old videos um, and all the subscribers as well. We're, we've nearly hit 500, which is absolutely incredible really. Um, you know, considering I've not put anything out there the fact that you guys are still subscribing, still interacting, it's absolutely amazing. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, but anyways, in this episode, we're going to do some solo salvaging. Uh, kind of just, I know there's going to be plenty of guides out there on YouTube already, but this is kind of how I can, well, how I do it. Um, and I like to salvage in Mike L5, which is currently where we are, actually. So what we're going to do is jump out briefly, uh, and then we'll jump back to Mike L5. Uh, and we'll show you why I like to do it here. Obviously, the scanning is a little bit bugged at the moment, um, but there is ways of sort of getting around that sometimes you you know use your key, a keen eye you can kind of spot a ship in the distance but there's a way i do it when i when i first come to my cal5 um and i like to sort of do like a little bit of a routine um and yeah anyways i'm waffling on again every single video i do i seem to do that so i apologize guys so <laughs> let's uh let's get stuck into this video anyway all right guys before we head out there and actually do some salving i just thought i'd show you all what the vulture looks like I know most of you probably already know. I know you've probably seen a lot of video uh, videos out there, a lot of guides out there. But I've only had this ship for a week, and obviously I haven't put any content out there for a while. So I'm really, really excited, um, you know, just to get back into this. Really, it's it's been it's been too long. Um, but anyways, I really, really do love this ship. I did go out and buy um, the skin as well for it, which pretty much even even if you didn't want to get the skin, even even the most basic. Sort of like looking vulture. Well, I say the most basic. The the the, the vanilla, the standard um, vulture does look very good. It's like a yellow color. There are some really nice skins for this ship though, but you don't have to go and buy them. To be fair, I just kind of like the way this one looked. Um, once again, waffling on. Sorry guys. <laughs> but uh, what I decided to do with this is because I actually pledged the prospector. I decided to upgrade that to the vulture because you can buy the prospector in game. So I thought to myself, well. Wow, I might as well do a bit of salvaging by the prospector in game and I can do the mining and salvaging together. That way you can't buy this this vulture in the game just yet. Um, but I did find it really cool that the vulture was advertised in the game on posters for such a long time, maybe since sort of like 315 even. I, I can't even remember. It's been so long. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this ship. And I'll just give you a quick tour of the inside. I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure you've already seen it, but for anyone that hasn't, you've got a grid here. This is a box that I was doing the other day um so what you do is um once you're salvaging the stuff which we'll show you after a box will come out here and then it will snap to this grid or you can move it using a tractor beam to snap to this grid you can fit 12 boxes within the grid um you can put more on here but they won't snap they'll just kind of be loose uh in inside the uh inside the hangar bay here um or whatever you want to call it now if we go upstairs real quick door wants to open climb this ladder and then you've got the bedroom in here. So if you're out doing some salvaging in deep space, you can log out before you, you know, come back to a station to sell it, for instance, or store it. Um, and then here is the cockpit. And yeah, I really love this. This is an amazing, amazing ship, and I'm, I'm, so, I'm just, I'm just so happy to have it. To be honest with you. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, waffling on, possibly an unnecessary tour of the ship. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, let's move into the next step of the video. All right, guys, so what we did is we jumped a little bit away towards Art Corp, and we're going to go and jump straight back in uh, to the Icarus Station, I believe it's called. Um, yep, so what we're going to do is we're going to spool up here, uh, and what will happen is hopefully when we get in there, we'll sort of like jump to a cluster of asteroids, which we'll show you in just a second. Um, now, the scanning is a little bit bugged with this, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I can show you exactly what to look for when we get in. Uh, it shouldn't take too long because we didn't jump that far, thankfully. Um, now there are some invisible asteroids in MyCal5 which I have, put it this way, I have crashed into them more times than I can count so it is a little annoying. The reason I like MyCal5 mostly um, is because um, it's remote, I don't really see anyone over here and the only people I've seen over here, here are salvages as well. I've not been attacked by any pirates, players or anything yet. Um, touch wood, that doesn't happen while I'm recording right now because that would be disastrous. Um, but yeah, anyways, once you've jumped into MyCal5, you're looking for this little cluster of asteroids here. Um, now, you may jump in from a slightly different angle or a different location, um, but pretty much you'll be able to identify these pretty straight away. Now, what you're looking for is this little semicircle 
piece here, which is like an old piece of a station, I'm guessing. Um, you can't salvage that itself, but what should be in the immediate area of this semicircle is sheet metal. And it seems to be there almost every single time I come. In fact, it has been there every single time. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I am gonna go and quickly go over to there and then I will come back to you in a second. All right, guys, so once again, we have found the sheet metal, which is absolutely amazing. Now, just to kind of show you where we are, here's the asteroids, and then there's the sort of semicircle destroyed, um, well, I guess station, as we said earlier. Now, the scanning has kind of worked for this, but it only works sort of like when you get close to it. I haven't been able to sort of see any of these little symbols or anything like that, um, you know, scanning from distance, which is kind of a little bit annoying. Um, but yeah, this this every time I've come here, this sheet metal has always been here. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and as I say, MyCal 5 is, is sort of very remote. You very rarely see anyone out here, um, which is absolutely awesome. So you can do this in peace. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's uh, stop waffling on and let's get stuck into the actual salvaging itself. Now, if you push M on the keyboard, out come your um, modules um, or sort of like, they're kind of like mining heads, I guess. And uh, yeah, we can get stuck in. So you've got the cargo at the top there. Once you've filled up a box, it will sort of, or one, well, once you've filled up one SEU, a box will come out um, downstairs as we looked at earlier. Um, and then you just let point and left click really. Now I like to kind of start at the top and just kind of go along. Now it's obviously up to you how you want to do it. And as you can see, the cargo is filling up at the top left there. Well, the sort of center of the screen, should I say, center left of the screen. Um, and then I will kind of show you exactly what to do in a second when the box comes out. But I'm going to show you the full sort of thingy. We won't show you like the whole 12 boxes. I'll skip ahead when, uh, you know, with that regard. But we are going to do one full box here and kind of show you exactly what it looks like um, to salvage. We are at 050 at the moment. This is probably the most, I think the cinch scrapper module is the most efficient um, out of the two. The abraid kind of like, I think the abraid, in fact, you know what, let's switch to it and see, shall we? I think the abraid, abraid kind of like covers a bigger area. There we go. Um, and it's not quite as efficient, um, but it is a little bit quicker, I guess, because it's kind of like salvaging a little bit more. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's just not quite as efficient. And there you go. As soon as you hear that noise, out comes a box. Oops. We don't want to be uh, salvaging when the box is full. And then let's just quickly pop downstairs. Come on, door, please open for me. That would be very grateful. I will, I will be very grateful, sorry. Damn, I'm so rusty. <laughs> I haven't done a video for so long. I'm really rusty. I apologize, guys. I apologize. Um, so we already have a box from earlier. Now this one is ejecting. So what we will do is while that is doing that, we'll quickly stick that into my hand. And out comes the box. And then all you do, pick it up if it wants to let me. Sometime today would be nice. There we go. And then we'll pop it up the top there and then it will snap on. And then we can do that. We can repeat that for, you know, for this entire grid. We can fill it up with 12 boxes. Um, so, yeah, I will get back to you once we have filled it up, guys. So, guys, as you can see here, we have filled up the full SEU here of 12 boxes. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to Art Corp. Now, I know it's a little bit of a long distance. I think it's about 31 million kilometers away from Mike uh, L5. That is the downside um, with sort of mining, uh, well not mining, what I'm about salvaging over here. Um, it is a little bit remote, it's very far away. Um, but the upside of course is that it's very peaceful. Um, now, it's not probably the most efficient way of doing it if you're just doing it a lot on your own. Um, however, I am gonna bring another video out of, um, you know, which will involve someone else. I'm gonna bring someone else to a video for the first time. Um, and we're also gonna do it with two ships. So we're gonna do it very efficiently. Um, spoiler alert, it might be a hole. <laughs> um, and as you can see here, we have only salvaged one sheet metal out of the three. Um, I can just sort of go down here now and show you that this one here, as you can see at the center of the screen, 100%. And I think this one down here as well should say the same. Uh, there we go. So yeah, we've only managed to fill this up with, well, by just doing one sheet metal, which is absolutely amazing. And there's even a little tiny bit left there, look, as you can see. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. And as I say, I'm going to head over to Art Corp now. Um, so yeah, I will come straight back to you guys when we are there. All right, guys, we made it to Art Corp and we are at the Trade and Development Division. What we want to do now is just head over to one of these consoles over here. We'll click on Use, click Sell, 
And then in this little drop down menu here, we're going to click on the Drake Vulture. And then it should in a second just pop up on its own. And there we are. So we've got 12 out of 12 SCU. So that's 7,699 per box. So that's pretty good to be fair. And if we click on that and then we drag that all the way up, we're going to make 92,000 for the 12 boxes, which again isn't too bad. And that is only off one sheet metal as well. So if we went back and did all three, you know, we're making nearly 300K there. So that's not too bad at all. Now, in my next video, as I said already, we're going to do two ships and introduce a friend of mine into the video as well. Um, and we're going to take advantage of maybe doing all three of those uh, sheet metals all at once. Um, and then that would be much more efficient than doing it like, you know, just with the Vulture and coming all that way from Michael 5 to Art Corp to sell it. Because um, obviously there are much faster ways of making money than this. Um, but I do really love salvaging and it is really worth it. Uh, my cal 5 is obviously a very very long way away from art corp so again using that extra ship or you know if you've got a crew of you uh, and, and using the um, re reclaimer for example it would definitely be worth going that long distance but i think maybe just doing it with the vulture you know maybe there are other places that would be more efficient and much better uh, to salvage from and if you know of any better places than than you know my cal 5 please let me know in the comments below um that would be absolutely awesome we'll go ahead and quickly sell that anyway um but yeah anyways guys that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it um you know a little bit rusty admittedly so uh go easy on me but yeah guys thank you so much uh, for watching stay safe take care and i'll see you in the next one